Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. We're now into part four of our four-part series on the Mac Pro, the Pegasus, uh, 4K workflow, performance, uh, everything you want to know about editing in Final Cut Pro in a high-performance modality. Modality. Well, not everything you want to know. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of questions. I'm sure, I'm sure there probably will. We're, we're trying but, to cover as much as we yeah, can in, yeah. uh, in this, uh, you know, basically our segment. Yes, yes. All right. So we're going to look at today, particularly multicam as it relates yeah. to these multiple streams of yeah. uh, 4K work, uh, 4K um, a video. Exactly. You know, the most demanding uh, thing you can do on a system is do 4K multicam editing. Right, multiple streams of 4K. Sure. And that's where this whole system really shines, and this is kind of almost what it was designed to do and what it can really handle. Before we get there, I do want to address something from the last episode. Okay. Because we talked about a, a pure red raw workflow. Right. We're working straight with R3D files, in fact, in this project right here, and um, we're playing back in real time. We did not optimize the media, so we're playing the original R3D files, and it plays back beautifully. Um, there's a particular reason it plays back so well. And if we go up to the top right corner here under the display and quality options, you can see that we're set for better performance. And that's really the key. It's the default setting, and that's what allows us to get this playback that we're getting. If you were to select better quality, uh, you're not going to be able to play back uh, this red raw straight. Now, I, I don't know why you, you would. What you can do if you choose better quality, we can look at this and see if you see a difference when I choose it in the in the image. I, see anything happen? No, I, I <laughs> haven't really seen anything. Now, on a 4K monitor, you would probably you see, see a, little, right. a little bit of change because the better performance, we are looking basically at this quarter to Bayer, so it is it's sort of sort of a essentially a kind of a compressed version of it. Right. But it's extremely high quality. Very. Um, that allows you to cut and work and then when you export, you never you don't need to switch. This is not like a proxy thing where you need to switch back before you export. I mean, you just, just it's work just it. It's just a playback thing. Yeah, just work at better performance all the time. Sure. But I just thought I should I should mention that in case, you know, if you're not getting playback, you might have that set at the wrong place. And you should you just know, kinda... maybe in a, in, a, in a room where you got a big screen and, you know, you, you might be able to, you know, want to switch it over to high quality. And just take a look at take it. Take a look at it, Right, yeah. right. But that's just something important to know. So, now in terms of 4K, we're going to look at a couple of different examples here, and I'm going to go to our little Sweetwater shoot. And the first example I want to look at is something that we showed uh, a couple of um, episodes ago. Shift Command Seven for the angle viewer. And do you uh, need the uh, inspector open? Uh, I do for a minute because I okay. just want to. I want to show what this stuff is. So. Um, you, you can see that some of these shots uh, need to be rendered and some do not. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, some have color correction, some do not. But you notice these are 3840 by 2160 clips, okay? Mm -hmm. So if I go to each of them, 3840 by 2160, there's a few of these, there's an angle that's been color corrected and that's why there's a render bar there. I see. Um, but these are 4K clips. The other thing to notice in the inspector is right down here that we have optimized. Okay, so the first message is, if you're going to do 4K multicam and you want to be able to play back multiple streams, you're probably going to want to optimize. Okay, which optimize means that you're going to take your R3D files and create uh, ProRes 4444 or 4x4 4 4K files. Sure. They're about three times the size. You can optimize an import, as we showed before, or you can always optimize after the fact by just choosing transcode media mm -hmm. uh, from up here. Right. You can choose to transcode your media. Oh, oh, you actually have to have the right, yeah. right thing selected first, file transcode media. Transcode media, I just don't have the event selected. Let's actually show it correctly. Right. Transcode media, and then right. you can choose. Uh, in this case, it's what's going to happen, uh, oh, I selected an event that's got some in there that still needs to be optimized. Right. If, 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 if there's like, something in there. If, if both um, clips, if the clips already have optimized and proxy, both of those are not be available. They're right. not selectable. Right. But everything in this timeline here has been optimized. And just to make it clear, well, okay, great. Are you playing optimized or proxy? If you go up here uh, to these settings, you can see that we are playing optimized slash original. And what that means is, if Optimize is available, that's what we're going to play. Right. If it's not, I'll play original. Right. But we're not playing proxies. We are playing 4K ProRes 4x4 files. And if I play some of that, <laughs> you 
So you can see I'm getting I'm getting full 4K playback. And in fact, I actually have the I wondered I have the wrong project. Sorry, it, it doesn't matter. It works exactly the same way. But let me just open this because I know this one doesn't have the color correction on it. So we could play a little bit more of it. I also I noticed that because the angles that we're picking yeah. uh, weren't all in the in the view there. So now we're playing four streams of, of uh, optimized pro ProRes. Okay, and the reason I'm doing four. In the in the angle editor here is because that's kind of the the max, okay, which is huge, right? That you're doing four streams of of 4K ProRes in optimized, you know, full 4K playback. Um, so you should be like amazed. I, I, I am. Are there more than four angles for this particular project, or just four? There there are, but I'm not. I'm only playing four of them. Um, you can see you can see down here in the editor. This actually has a few more angles. In fact, if I go down to nine. You'll see I've got more I angles see. of red. And it's worth okay. pointing out here that the more angles you have in the angle viewer, it does affect performance. It, well, that's a huge point because if you close, if you actually close Shift Command 7, the angle viewer, it doesn't matter how many angles you have, it's, you're going to play back in real time. So what you're saying is, if I know what my angles are, I can actually do a cut and a switch right from the timeline without actually having the angle editor open. You don't even need to have it open. Wow, so, that's, that's huge. So where that comes into play is if you're on a machine that can't handle the playback performance, uh, you can still do multicam editing in real time. With 16 angles. Yeah. Or with, nine with in this, this case. Or you, can, or you can cut by not actually playing, and then you can play back in real time just by closing the angle editor. So check this out. We're at nine angles now, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, let's see if there's more. I'll go to 16. Now, this so this has these. This has actually 16 angles plus the audio. Sure. Okay. And these are all red. Um, we didn't have 16 red cameras, just to be clear. But we had we had a couple red cameras and we did multiple takes sure. uh, at different setups and different angles, so we could create essentially this 12. This uh, one, two, three, four. Sorry, 12. I better do my counting weight. So right. 12 angles of red plus the audio track. Sure. Now. This is not going to play back with optimized media. However, in fact, we, let's just go ahead and, and play it. You'll see. It won't play back with optimized media. No, game. no, Wait, no. It's dropping frames right and left. What, what, yeah, I mean, th this is just crazy amount of throughput. So it'll play four absolutely fine. But check this out. What we're going to do is switch to proxy now, OK? Because if you have more than four angles of 4K media, if you go to proxy, what are we doing when it's proxy? In fact, let's just, but just by selecting proxy, it, it, it'll take a minute to load the proxy, and now boom, it's done. Not even a minute, like five seconds. Yeah, it's just done. In fact, let's, let's make things a little bigger. I'm going to close the inspector, and now because we're on 10.1, uh, on I can also close the browser, hide the browser, control command one, and really make a lot more room. And let's just look at the difference. We'll make this nice and big, and let's go back to optimized and wait for a second. Okay, now we're playing optimized media, and I don't know if you notice very little difference in the quality. Right. Again, this is something you would notice on the 4K monitor. But now I'll go to proxy. These proxies are one quarter the resolution of the 4K files, which means they're 1920 by 10. Yeah, they're full HD files. So now what we have are 12 angles of full HD. Uh, playing off this Mac Pro and this Pegasus RAID, so let's let's check it out. Oh, I've got some terrible cuts in here. <laughs> I cut this very quickly, so there's some bad matches. <laughs> like he's not holding the microphone all of a sudden, and like I started watching, it's like, oh, I gotta fix that. Which but, is which is why they need yeah. to buy your multicam tutorial. That's gonna, <laughs> it's on our site. But they actually have a decent cut. <laughs> but but you can see that we're playing 12, and in fact, it's better than that. If I do Control Command One to bring back the uh, unhide the browser here, I actually have an example here of 24 angles. So check this out. You can only show 16 at a time, but if you look at the bank switcher down here, uh -huh. if I select the second bank, we've got another eight, including the audio. So there's 24 angles here. And um, we're only showing 16 at a time, but uh, check and, this and, out. And, wow. And now we have different cam cameras, because this I didn't have, we have 12 angles of red, 
But the other angles here, there's some GoPro cameras you can see here, some other there's cameras that we included. There's a Canon 5D and a Nikon D700. Right. And so those are a couple different examples of uh, multicam editing on a Mac Pro and a Pegasus RAID with either uh, optimized or proxy media. I, I have to say, Mark, this stuff is amazing to me. The fact that you can do all of this stuff right, right on the desktop with, with this, this Mac Pro, this Pegasus, and have all these streams of video playback. It's, it's incredible. And I love the fact how you brought brought it out that you don't necessarily need this. You can edit on an on off-the-shelf right. drive. You can uh, edit on a MacBook Pro. You can edit on an iMac. Right. Mm -hmm. It just all depends on whether you want to transcode or not. Right. And that's, the, that's, the, that's the key. Because what you're saying is you still need to transcode if you want to play back all the streams, even on a system like this. Yes. It's just how yes. long you want to wait. That's yes. really the bottom yes. line. Yes. How long do you want to wait for all this stuff to happen? So time is money. So if, if you're uh, uh, somebody that just wants to get the stuff in and start cutting with it, then this is probably the way you want to go. Um, if you're working on a laptop and your resources are tight, well, you could still do this on, on a laptop. Yeah, that's the thing. It's still, you, everything that we've shown here, you can do 4K multicam editing on a laptop you, you, with, with kind of everything off the shelf. You don't have to have this gear, but this gear uh, allows you to do very kind of fail-safe work and, and in a production environment, it's Excellent. Quiet. So, thanks Mark, you did a tremendous job uh, doing all this research and playing with this and, and bringing a lot of useful information to our audience. I'm sure we're going to be getting uh, even more questions. <laughs> and uh, to that end, if you do want to follow us uh, at Ripple Training on Twitter or uh, Facebook, you can uh, email us at support and uh, we'd just love to hear how you're using these products. We have a new multicam tutorial that Mark's just produced and you can actually cut this very project that he's been showing you and it's great. So. Thanks for watching Mac Big Studio. We'll see you on the next episode.